All right, everybody, we're back doing a little magic. Uh, we got our brand new sleeves to yeah. try out. That's Dragon shields. Dragon shields. Apparently, like, close to indestructible, but we destroyed one earlier yeah. to test that theory. <laughs> anyway, so... You, you can destroy it if you're trying to sure, destroy it. Sure, sure. So anyway, today we're, doing, uh, today we're doing some more set wars. I'm playing a Shards of Alara deck, and you're playing a... Scars of Mirrodin deck. Scars of Mirrodin deck. So anyway, decide who goes first. Uh, what, what's this? I've hidden a coin under Mr. Boopster. Under Mr. Boopster. And you got to decide. Heads or tails, huh? Well, it's under Mr. Boopster, which is the furthest away from his head and the closest to his tail if he had one, but he doesn't because he's a snowman. Snowmen don't have tails. So I'm going to say tails. So we'll move this thing that we haven't named, and we'll flip over Mr. Boopster. It is tails! tails. <laughs> that was correct. Just because a, uh, it's 2008 Pooper. snowman, apparently. Yeah. That, that'll be his name, 2008. 2008. Anyway, so I'll go first, and we'll see you in round one. All right, game one. Show my hand to the camera. Show my hand. Not the most exciting, but it'll get the job done. I'm going to lead with Jungle Shrine and pass the turn. Draw a card. Mountain, enter, go. Untap Shrine. Go for a mountain. Play an Elvish Visionary. Draw a card. Pass the turn. Another mountain. Mm -hmm. Play a copper mirror. Sure. Enter go. Draw for turn. I'll attack you for one. I'll take that one. And I'll play a woolly foctar. Ooh. Pass the turn. Back when a three mana five four with no abilities was just the best thing they ever printed. <laughs> yep. And I was like, yeah, we'll just make three mana five fives that do have upsides. Why not? Why not? Good old power creep. <laughs> this wasn't even that long ago. When was shards? Two thousand eight. Yeah. Think. We'll tap four for rusted relic. Sure. Enter go. And at the moment, he is rusty. He's just a relic. Mm -hmm. He's not yet a creature. This is true. Of maximum beatage. Beatage. Mountain. Yeah, tap those for a Hell's Thunder. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Massive beats. And I'll attack you for 10. That puts me all the way down to nine. Yes. And then I will pass the turn. Hell's Thunder goes away. Untap. Draw. Play a mountain. Mm -hmm. We will play a Plidium Mirror. Sure. Turn on the relic. Rusted relic. I think we will attack you for five. I will go to 15. And I shall pass the turn. All right. Draw a card. You're at nine. That I am. Forced. Unearth the thunder. Yep. Attack with these two for nine. Galf Blast. Four damage to it. Sure. Take the four. Go to five. All right. And a turn. Sacrifice. Gets exiled this time. Oh, yes. Because it was unearthed. Yes. Continue. Play a mountain. Mm-hmm. We'll attack you for five. I can go to ten. Okay. And six mana for a worm coil engine. That's a big boy. And sure go. All right. You know, the card that you, the reason you play scars is that you can play mm -hmm. worm coil engine. Pretty much. <laughs> 
This is like a really slow affinity deck. Yeah. Luckily, I have an Oblivion Ring. <laughs> Which is the reason you play shards. <laughs> yeah. Not even the shards, Oblivion Ring. Well, mm-hmm. it wasn't the scars. Or yeah. Coil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then I'm actually going to cast a Magma Spray targeting Palladium Mirror. Consider him exiled. And attack you for one. Go to four. Pass the turn. Turns off Rusted Relic. Yeah. Or at least forces you to play something else to turn it back on. One damage to that, two damage to you. I go to eight. Enter go. Oh, I'm going to play my mountain. Sure. And then say go. Draw a card. Hmm. Four currently. I'm going to go for a Johnny Vengeant. And I will helix you. Puts me at one. Puts me at 11. And I'll pass the turn. think we will cast a Plidium here. Sure. Reactivating Rusted Relic. Attack a Johnny for one and you for five. I will Magma Spray the Copper Mirror. Which makes Rusted Relic cease to be a creature. Yep. Answer go. Alright. Draw a card. Johnny will keep Rusted Relic tapped. Play a Plains. Play an Elspeth. Which will make a Fusti token. Yeah. And I'll play a Druid of the Anima. Pass turn. I will untap. Mm-hmm. Two mana. Arc trail. Dead. Attack a Johnny for two. Johnny down. Answer go. Well, that did save you this turn for sure. Draw a card. Unfortunately, I drew this. <laughs> Unless you have some way of dealing no, with it. No, that's it. Attack for four. I take it. <laughs> Fine. All right, game two, and I believe you are on the play. Yeah, so, Mountain, sure go. Draw a card. I'll leave with the Jungle Shrine, pass the turn. And we'll have play a Mountain. Mm-hmm. And a Copper Mirror, and sure go. All right. I will see your two-mana ramp spell and raise you one. Pass yep. the turn. Not really a spell. It's kind of a permanent. Maybe both. Yeah. Think we'll go for Plidium here. All right. And attack you for one. Will you trade my one mana one one for your one mana one one? That's actually kind of a good question. Yes. I think I will. Enter go. Hmm. Intriguing. Play a forest. Hmm. And a wild Nakadal, who is a 1 1 at the moment. And I'll pass the turn. Can't make him a 2 2 by cracking the I can, knife. yes. So, um, six mana. Nope. It's a worm coil. Yeah, it's a worm coil. <laughs> That's a big boy. Big scary boy. Year go. At the turn, I'm going to crack Panorama. Fetch up a mountain. Which does make Wild Nacatl a 2 2. That is true. Not a very formidable 2 2 against the worm coil engine, but. A roadblock, at least. Yes. <laughs> 
he can chump block a little better now. <laughs> Draw a card. If you have two uh Magma Sprays. Magma Sprays. Yeah, that would do it too. Hmm. I'm gonna play a druid of the anima. And another Nea Panorama. And I'll pass the turn. Play Mountain. Mm -hmm. Attack you for six. I'm going to take six. I haven't taken damage yet, right? No. Yeah, my, di my dice was left over from the last game. I couldn't actually remember. I'll go to 14. I go up to 26. And we'll play a gold mirror. Sure. Enter go. Crack panorama into turn. Fetch up a planes. They got a 3-3. Three, three. I do. Alright. Then draw a card. I'm playing a Johnny Vengeant. Yep. I'll keep Warm Coil Engine down. Delay the inevitable. Oh, well, it might not be inevitable. True. You do got a 3-3 three, three to wall my 2-2 two, two that can attack. That's true. Hmm. Johnny would go to 1. If those got sent in. Going to attack for three. Take three, go to 23. Play a panorama, pass the turn. Untap, draw. Play a mountain. Mm hmm. Hmm. Attack a Johnny for two. Attack a Johnny for two. I'm going to block it and crack panorama. So while you're doing that, I will cast a chimeric mass. Sure. With six counters on it. Just as big as worm coil. <laughs> it just needs a lifelink and death touch to it compete, does. though. Yeah. Can't activate this turn, though, so it kind of stops Wild and the Coddle from yeah. getting in there. All right. Draw a card. Hmm. I'm going to play a Hell's Thunder. Yep. I'm going to attack you for seven. Hmm. You know what? I'll activate the Chimeric Mass sure. and block the Wild and Coddle. All right. Puts me at 19. Johnny will finish it off, putting me at 17. Worm Coil gets untapped, though. It does. Uh, luckily, I will Oblivion Ring Worm Coil Engine. Johnny will die, though. Yeah. Pass the turn. Probably Pass worth thunder. it, though. Probably. Don't have much of a board presence at the moment. Attack you for one and a Johnny for two. Johnny dies. I go to 16. Play a mountain and it's your go. All right. Well, I will do the only thing I can do. Unearth a Hell's Thunder. I'll Hit attack for you for more. four. Puts me to 15. Play a Plains and pass the turn. Exiling Hell's Thunder. Attack you for three. I got a 13. Six mana for Ooh, Worm Coil boy. Engine. Oh boy. Enter go. Alright. Draw a card. Play a forest and pass the turn. I see we're both getting a little land flooded. A little. You do have more of a board presence. Play a though. mountain. Yeah, there's that. Yes. Swing for nine. 
I will take nine. Going to four. Which puts me up to 21. Probably putting this game quite out of reach. <laughs> For the home team. My home team. And galvanic blast oh with i, I got planes <laughs> though let's see was i was it drawing an answer no no unfortunately well that's kind of an answer eventually but uh, all right i have perished and we'll see you in game three all right on to game three show my hand a little risky but we'll see show what happens hand. and i'm gonna lead with a jungle shrine pass the turn draw Play a mountain, pass the turn. Got to untap there. You don't need to untap. <laughs> I'm going to go for a wild Nakadal and a Nea Panorama, and I'll pass the turn. Draw a card. Mountain. Goldmere. Sure. Here go. All right. Draw a card. Play another Nea Panorama. And I'm actually going to send in for one. Send in for one. I will take that one. It does, definitely does have the potential to be more. Are you going to crack Nea Panorama in I'm response? Not. Okay, go 19. Just one. Play a Druid of the Anima and pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Play a Mountain. Mm -hmm. Rusted Relic. I'm assuming. Yes. I think it's my only four drop, so kind well, of Well, you could come Eric Mass for four. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. It is an X spell. Yeah. Antrigo. Right. But a four mana five five is better than a four yeah. mana four four. Yeah. So the four mana four four is a little easier to activate. Mm hmm And can't be shut off mid-combat by, like, killing the mirror or something. This is true. What to do here? I'm going to cast a Johnny Vengeant. And I'm going to actually going to Helix Gold Mirror. Putting me to 23. Yeah. And then I'll attack you for one. Go to 18. Pass the turn. You untap. This way he has to play two things, two artifacts to give middle craft. A silver mirror. Like those. And an iron mirror. <laughs> and five mana at the Johnny. Johnny dead. Five mana? <laughs> at the yeah. Johnny? Yeah, five mana. I overloaded him. Yes. <laughs> and go. All right. Does Johnny go to hell? Uh, he's a cat. I think the saying is all dogs go to heaven. So maybe. Probably. <laughs> well, he's got nine lives, so he's probably not actually dead. Yeah. He's got lost for a bit. <laughs> lost in the fray. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna attack for one. Attack for one. <laughs> Yeah, with Nea Panorama's crack, I'll just take that. Are you going to crack any? Um, I'm debating it. I'm not. Just one. Go 17. I'm playing Elspeth, Knight Errant. And make a token. Make a Fusti. And then I'll play a Jungle Shrine, and I'll pass the turn. I think we'll play a mountain. Mm -hmm. Three mana is tap, so. Sure. Send six at Elspeth. I'm going to throw the Fusti in front of Rusted Relic. Elspeth will go to four. And. I think. Play a Chimeric Mass with five counters. Sure. Year go. All right. Untap. Draw for turn. 
Mass for five counters with the potential to activate. Elspeth's gonna make a Fusti. Make Fusti. And I'm going to play the Woolly Thoctar. Got your own five power creature. And I'll pass the turn. Um tap. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably the best. Two damage to Wild and Cuddle, one damage to the Fusti. Mm. Dead either way. So Yeah. Sure. No way to crack both of them, so yes. there was that. We will activate Chimeric Mass yep. and swing at Elspeth. Mm. Which don't I like more in this situation? I think I'm going to block Chimeric Mass with Willy Thoctar. Yep. Elspeth will take five. Thoctar will trade for that. And... Should pay four mana for a rusted relic. Sure. Here you go. Crack a panorama. End of turn. Fetch up a. I'm going to say mountain. It doesn't really matter. Mountain. Like so. I mean, you got double white as Elspeth, and you got double red as mm. Hell's Thunder. It's true. Can't think of too many other. Thoctar is like the only thing, yeah, but I've got. Thoctar's got three too. colors. Yes. So. Draw a card. All right. I'd say you want more red in case you want to cast a Hell's Thunder and a Magma mm -hmm. Spray in the same turn cycle. I'm going to cast an Oblivion Ring, the untapped Rusted Relic. You pointed at the tapped one. I just pointed. <laughs> oh. I didn't point like you point anything. right at the tap one. It made sense to take the that. That would be one. pointing right at the tapped one. <laughs> you pointed in the general direction of Fine. The... Fine. We can agree to that. <laughs> mm. Play a wild nacodle and a forest. And I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw. Attack you for five. I will take five going to 18. And cast a Palladium here. Sure. Your go. Crack Panorama. Get the last piece of the puzzle. Planes. I got a 3-3. Three, three. Yes. And we'll see what we draw. All right. I think we're going to go for a Which plane to walk <laughs> I can never tell. Yeah. They're all four mana. <laughs> Pretty much. He'll go up to five. Pump your team. Pump my team question is does that really do anything hmm so that's four in for sure I will attack you for four I'll take it Puts me to 13. I'll play a mountain. Pass the turn. Oops. 
draw. I'll attack. I'll cast Galt Blast, four damage Sarkin Vol. That's a good one. Attack you for five and Sarkin Vol for two. No, Sarkin's dead regardless. So I think that I'll let all of that happen and go to 13. Andrigo. Draw a card. That rusted relic is getting in for some beats. Doing some work. Just doing a bit. Some work in. I'm gonna attack you for three. Um, I will take that going to ten. I'll play a Wooly Thoctar. Pass the turn. Kinda slows down my <laughs> your five five. My five five. Just a bit. Excuse me, McFat. That's a good one. Pretty good in this scenario. So, attack for five. Definitely not worth trading anymore. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Mm. I think I can go to eight, which I'll do. And Jergo. Draw a card. All right. Well, I'll send in five of my own. Chump it with a silver mirror. Sure. I'll play a jungle shrine and pass the turn. And draw. We'll attack for five. Now it's time to jump. Druid of the Anima. I guess we can put that on. Sure. It's just for... As a 1-1. One, one. As Why a 1-1. One, one. He's a roadblock. At the very least. Animox Opal. Sure. Year go. Hmm. Hmm. Thoctar in. I guess I can just mimic that. Mm -hmm. Put a druid into play. Chop it. And. <sighs> yeah, chop it. Okay. And I'll play an ex super exciting mountain. Pass the turn. Draw. We shall play another Mimic Bat. Great. <laughs> Always what you want to see in a losing position. Mm -hmm. Tack you for five. Tack me for five. I'm going to take it and go to three. And Jergo. Visionary. Draw a card. Hmm. Play a planes and pass the turn. End of your turn. We'll make a Druid to the Anima. Yep. On tap. Draw. And Galvanic Blast. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So I'm I'm definitely dead to that. Yep. And uh, so yeah. Uh, what will what are we doing next? I don't even remember. Something. It'll be something. <laughs> so we'll see you next time.